Hello guys, so I'm here right now, uh, Super Bebe here. Uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to make some tutorial about this Gamester T4 Pro uh, and I'm going to use it on Jensen Impact. There was a Facebook user who wanted me to please teach him how. And this is for everybody who just bought this um, Gamester T4, T4 Pro. And they want to use it on Jensen Impact. Okay, so uh, first of all, uh, every um, team, uh, this controller here works as a Xbox controller when you connect it to the PC or the computer. Same as well with the dongle. Okay, now this is a multiple connection. You can use it to iOS, iPhones, uh, Android phones, and Nintendo Switch. On Nintendo Switch, uh, gyroscope is working. All right. So let's start. Now, uh, when you use this game certi for Pro, uh, using on the app itself, to the Jensen Impact for computer or PC, it will not. It will work. Okay. However, the problem on that is that there's some some connection like um, O. The attack, which is zero, will not work. Okay, and this uh, right thumb here, this is only for settings when you click it on. So you want this to be like a, a fire button, right? Fire, 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 fire. Right? So, or attack button. And this one will be like your uh, aim button, right? So, to do this, uh, first, we need to connect this through the computer. Either you connect it through a ward, okay? I have a ward here. Connect it through, and let's check. Right. Now you will hear that sound. It means that it's being uh, detected, okay? So let's try to see here. Then you will see that red there. Oh, here red, and then the light of top and bottom. It means it's connected. Uh, the first light and then the fourth light it means it's connected through ward okay and this controller will be known as a as an xbox controller okay uh, for default on the computer okay let's try to see that okay so where so um, as you can see here, yeah, uh, just a controller, okay. But it's an Xbox controller, okay. So as you can see, also I have here on my settings this uh, Pro controller because I also use this to connect as a Nintendo Switch controller uh, using the Bluetooth connection from my computer. Uh, so why is that? It's because I want to use the gyroscope of this controller, which will work only for Nintendo Switch uh, connection. Okay, so for that it will also work, but for Jensen Impact it doesn't work. Okay, it is it is not recognized as a controller by the Nintendo. Uh, sorry, by the Jensen Impact. It's either you use a uh, PS4 or PS5 controller, which this one doesn't have, it it only have the Xbox controller set configuration. Okay, so that one will what we will use that is recognized by the Jensen Impact, but it has different button and some of the buttons will not work if you use that configuration directly. The Jensen Impact. All right, so let's let's try this. So as you can see, the controller is already here already con uh, recognized by the computer but i want to use this through a connection over 
the dongle, okay, which is the wireless uh, 2.4 dongle that included here, okay, this one. You can see that the game server that came with it. So I remove this, turn it off, so that I can refresh my connection. Uh, you can uh, you can simply not turn it off. Just connect this dongle. It will just add because this one has been. Each time you do a new connection for iOS, Android, you need to turn it off first. Okay, so I need to put this on a dongle. Right, connect that on. So I have the dongle connected. It's being recognized on my computer as a controller because of the dongle. So once this has been recognized, what I, do, I will do is to... Any of the connection is located here at the back if you want, if you want a guide. Okay, so what I'm going to do is to press X and then the home button to turn it on. Once it's blinking, it's scanning. Okay, so we need to wait until this one connect. It will vibrate and the light will go steady. Right. So as I can see on the dongle, there is a blinking red meaning it's still scanning. All right. If that one will not work, what you can do, sometimes it takes 5 to 10 seconds to connect. So what I do sometimes is I try to turn on first this controller, turn it on in the connections, and then I try to connect the dongle. So what I'm going to do right now is disconnect the dongle, put it back again, and then that should connect. If not, then just turn on the dongle, do it again, X and home button. There you go. So it's connected right now. It uh, vibrated, right? And we can see on the user interface that the control is ready here. Now, the next thing, the next step that you need to do is you need, uh, since it, we will be using the Steam for this controller because we, not, we want the settings of the PS4 configuration in this a controller because some of the buttons will be not be recognized when we use it on the Jensen Impact directly, right? So what I do is I go to my library, then I add the game. Uh, browse a non-Steam game. I look for the Jensen Impact. Okay, add it here. Add the selected bro bro uh, programs. I already have it here. So I go to and I open the... Once it's added, I open the big picture. You can also check the settings of the controller here under controller. You can manage that one here. You can do the desktop configuration. The desktop configuration is like when you're desktop, what do you want this this um, controller to do? You want it to be a mouse. You want it to be a joystick. You want it to be press something A, B, C, D, whichever. Okay, it depends on your configuration. Also, you can use uh, what we do is uh, we need the big picture configuration, all right? But it's kind of uh, complicated here if you do this here, okay? So what we need to do is to do it on the big picture. Once you uh, once you get this in big picture, all right? So I'm on the big picture. You can see my I have my controller. I can use the controller right now because it's already configured, right? So I can use the this one. I go to library where the Jensen Impact is currently uh, located. I look for the Jensen Impact. Here it is. As you can see, it's still in keyboard mode, right? Because at first settings, or if you launch the game, you will still need to use the keyboard. Uh, and then from the game itself, that's the where you switch it to controller, okay? It's not automatically that you can use the controller on Jensen Impact. You still need to go in the in-game. But here, using the big picture, you can control everything here. Uh, some of the games here is already configured by the Xbox controller, like this one. So it has a controller in it. So like the Tomb Raider, uh, Star Wars, they are all configured. Uh, Halo, Infinite, Legends. So everything is already configured. But right now, what we are going to dem demonstrate to you is for the Jensen Impact. So as you can see, we have A for select, X search, so everything is on the bottom, what you need to press. So I press A, 
from here, so we are on the Jensen Impact uh, icon for the game itself. What I need to do is to manage shortcut. So from the manage shortcut, I go to control or option. So I always use to have checked this to the allow desktop configuration in the launcher and enable overlay uh, on non-Steam game. Why is that? Because if I launch the game itself and then I don't have the overlay, this controller will not work uh, because it needed a Steam to run in the background from the game. And I put this instead of global settings, I put this in first on so that all of my um, input or like this controller will be forced on that game. Okay, preference uh, controller. Of course, it should be called control preference will always be on okay now I hit okay so i go to the controller configuration so as you can see here i already have some of these um, joystick here configured okay uh, this one is for the gyroscope but since the nintendo switch gyroscope will only work on bluetooth using the nintendo switch configuration so that uh that gyroscope will not work here or i'm sorry you cannot see the gyroscope here i'm sorry okay you cannot see the gyro this is for always on okay meaning but you you cannot see the gyroscope settings here because it is not in enabled on xbox configuration now the next thing that you need to do is to browse configs so from here i go to community you can uh, go and search by boat so so from here you will see a lot of uh, configuration okay for the Jensen area. It will give you some configuration for the Jensen impact itself. What I did select, you can use this. This has a 12 volts, so I'm I didn't try it yet, okay? But you can still try it. But what I did for this um current demonstration is I used this one. Jensen normal game pad plus loot that's all gyro aim then once you select that you apply configuration and then you're done okay i'm using mouse so let me say i'm done okay done then from here you go to your shortcut you play it again you press on play perform inference for setup you see some loading of the team there then uh, you will see the launcher for the jensen impact you just launch it uh what i can suggest is you do the update already. If there's a patch update, do it first before going to the Steam to launch it, okay? Because it will take time, but it's still the same. All right. Uh, and also for, so that you will have no trouble when using the Jensen Impact through Steam, okay? So I try to launch it, okay? We are on the big picture, okay? So just to take note. All right, so the Jensen Impact will automatically uh launch here okay once it's launch see i got the config uh loaded here on the bottom right we need to say the jensen impact already uh acknowledge the controller okay acknowledge the controller okay it's waiting for it to load 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 <laughs> okay so as you can see i'm still using mouse and keyboard it's because you still need to Okay, so once I do that, I try to click on begin. Sorry, I'm no, <laughs> don't bash my character because it's still low level. <laughs> I'm not used to play this one. I'm just, uh, you know, trying it for all time, fun time. Alright, just click on begin. Alright, let's start to wait and Okay, as you can see here, all right, I got the Jensen Impact, but st this one is still, oh, uh, it's, it's already in a controller uh, settings because I did launch this before. So, uh, to do the settings, just go to settings. Then, if it's still, if you see still W, A, W, you know, enter, space. So, what you need to do is to go to settings. Oh, sorry. 
should be easy <laughs> because it's on the it's on the uh, PS4 configuration. That's why. So I use B for check, right? Then you can see from here, uh, just drop down this one and then choose controller. Okay. So once you have the controller, you will see all of the options here. You can change it uh, what you want. But what I can suggest is just don't, you know, just don't uh, bother with it. Just follow what you're looking here as your configuration. Okay. So just memorize it. Try to train yourself. What are those buttons are for? Then uh, let's go back. All right. So let's try. So as I told you, there's no OS. There's no aim here. Okay. Alright, uh, for the aim, you need to still use the right joystick and then the uh, left thumb and then you press fire. Alright, so you jump, you jump. Alright, so you can try other settings as well if you like. Uh, and to select. Yeah, we can select other else. Dodge this. Uh, they move on. You can use that. See. So there's a lot of things you, think you can do here. Uh, it's up to you if you want to. Oh, I'll check on it. Okay. Uh. <laughs> You're in for a little shock. <laughs> so the attack is here. See, when you connect it directly to Jensen Impact, this that will be here. The B here. That one. It will be assigned to O for PS for configuration. Okay. And if you connect this controller directly to the Jensen Impact without using the Steam, you will not be able to configure that B. You will not be able to attack. You can only use the this uh, right thumb. Attack. You're in for a little and shock. And the right B, you cannot use that dash. So yeah, that's it. So if ever you want any configuration and that Steam configuration that was been uploaded by by players also of Jens Jensen Impact using Xbox controller, you can use them as well. Okay. So. Any question you want to ask, just uh, message me. Don't forget to subscribe, uh, like the picture, and uh, you know, uh, I'm just here to help you out, okay? So again, uh, my name is uh, Super Bebe, and uh, see you then next on my next shoot or my next game, okay? So see you. Bye-bye.